Iron Friends. Guess what time it is? Five Iron Frenzy time. I'm sorry if you guys are sick of these Five Iron Frenzies unboxing videos. I will never get sick of these, so you're gonna have to suck it out for a little bit longer. Hey, I'm Annie, and this is why you should love music. We have another Five Iron Frenzy album. I went crazy with it because as soon as I found out that SMLXL vinyl was not going to be terrible anymore, then I was just like, I need all of their records. I'm really good at opening boxes. Boom. Oh, hello. Papers. Thanks. We appreciate your vinyl business. Free shipping on your next order. That's very nice. Look at them turning around and being an awesome company now. I love them. For those of you who have not watched my previous unboxing videos, they used to be my vinyl enemy. And now they're my vinyl besties. They're not my besties because I think Spartan Records is still my vinyl besties, but we're friends now. <laughs> Upbeats and beatdowns, you guys. This is like a classic Five Iron Frenzy album. It's one of their oldest um, complete works, and I love it very, very much. Uh, this was actually, I was really, really young when I was first introduced to this, but I still love it so much. And in fact, my workout playlist for when I exercise is called Upbeats and Beatdowns, because that's just a fantastic name. Um, again, for those of you who are not regular viewers, Oh, you guys probably know, if you're not like one of my regular viewers, you probably are only watching this if you like Fire Iron Frenzy. But in case the random person clicked on this by accident, Fire Iron Frenzy is an absolutely ridiculously amazing and hilarious ska group from the late 90s, early 2000s. They then disbanded, I wept my heart out, and then 20 years after, they came back and it was a miracle and I cried with joy and they have a new album that's now five years old. Wow, this makes me feel really old. They have a new album that's now five years old, and that one's called Engine of a Million Plots, which is also fantastic. But we're, we're kicking it old school today and talking about this one. Here's the, here's the front. Here's the back. Isn't it lovely? Answer, yes, it is lovely. <laughs> okay, so you remember how I said I was like five years old when I first started listening to this? That being said, there are some very heavy themes on this. Um, so I don't know if it's good for children. It was good for me and I was a children uh, But there's some very heavy themes on this like about it's really good though because uh, They were a Christian ska group and a lot of times uh, Christianity turns into like an excuse for bigotry and they were like No, that's not a good idea So they really tackle a lot of like the problem with racism and like all you know all these um systemic problems in Christianity and in society at large and kind of uh, fight back against that but I was like a five-year-old and I was raised on military bases all the time. So I was like, why is he saying that he doesn't like America? Like what? I don't think this is good. And then my big brother sat me down and was like, oh, but listen, here's the problem. And so then it was like a learning moment for me. So if you feel like your five-year-old is not equipped to deal with the problems with uh, government or racism, then maybe don't let them listen to this album. But I think that your kids should know that anyway. <laughs> I'm not a parent. I don't know what's appropriate for children. I just know that I love this album as a kid. Um, and it wasn't like too intense or scary for me. I just remember having questions and being confused when I was learning to read and reading through the lyrics and like, this seems not good. And then I asked my brother and he was like, yes, correct. This is not good. That's why we're talking about it. And I was like, oh, good point, brother. <laughs> That's just my perspective. That got on a weird side tangent. Anyway, let's look at this record. Okay, one kind of a weird but kind of cool thing about this that I'm just noticing is that the front is actually longer than the back, which maybe if you're OCD is annoying to you, but it's actually quite helpful for opening it without trying to mess around. It's really easy to open this because it's uneven. So is that a pro or is that a con? I'll let you decide. F-I-F, here we go. Woo! Ooh, nice. This is a very heavy... It feels 180. I don't know what how many grams of the pressing is, but it feels like on the thicker side of standard. Um, and it is not transparent. It's a really, really cool blue color. I'm colorblind, so I cannot explain to you what kind of blue that is. I just know that it's an awesome blue. Yep, that's about it. Maybe it's TARDIS blue. I don't know. Maybe it's a... 
it's not sky blue unless the sky where you live is like particularly saturated then maybe it is sky blue i wouldn't call it sky blue i would call it like a i have no idea what i would call it i would just call it blue <laughs> anyway this looks like a really clean pressing I will clean it before I put it up, but it, there don't appear to be any scratches or cosmetic errors even, so that is very awesome news. I'm so excited to listen to this. I don't think I've listened to this since I was a tiny person. Probably I was 12 the last time I listened to this, because that's the last time that I knew where the CD of this was. I don't know where it got to, but I'm excited. Now we get to the part of the video where I recommend to you a song to listen if you don't know what this album is. Good luck to me because these are all ridiculous and wonderful. Just listen to the first, well, okay. Listen to the first track, the first track. It will be a good introduction. Uh, it's called The Old West. However, I'm gonna give you a warning right now. It does deal with heavy themes of like racism and bigotry. So if you're like not a fan of making fun of the Old West, like and the terrible things that they did, <laughs> then maybe don't listen to that one. And also maybe like, take a look at history <laughs> um yeah so if you're a person that you feel like politics doesn't belong in music maybe give this album a pass um i don't think that it's trying to be political i think that it's trying to be um moral and it explores morality in society um but if you're like kind of sensitive to that topic on either side i would say maybe give this a pass also if you get annoyed by hilarity then don't listen to this one. But if you like humor and social commentary mixed together and served to you in the form of ridiculousness with some awesome guitar and brass instruments, you should definitely check this out. You'd probably love it. Um, if you have any questions about this album or about this pressing that I did not answer in this video, feel free to drop me a comment. I will do my best to answer all of your questions. Otherwise, just holler at me. Say, hey, tell me how your life was going. Tell me what kind of music you're listening to this week. Um, I hope you're all having a fantastic time and enjoying music and enjoying the things that you love. So yeah, I'll see you next time.